Good morning. Yeah, we already learned that the British, they use some different words than we do as well, but they also, they are very uh, mannered. Uh, different manner. <laughs> Every time we've gone out to eat, we've been like so nervous, almost on edge. And of course, even though we love him, our Carlos Diaz had a lot to learn. But <laughs> you went to the experts, pal. Yeah, I did. You know, it was well, the quote that I loved the most was, uh, being British uh, when you're a kid is difficult because there's so many <laughs> rules right. of That's etiquette. How to sit, how to stand, how to talk, how to act, how to tie a bow tie. So I went to the experts, two IndyCar drivers, and they taught me how to be properly British. So I need some tips on royal etiquette. True dining in the UK isn't something that's meant to be rushed. It's like an event in itself. If you're sat down like we're sitting down now, and you came in through the door, we'd stand up. If you get there all at the same time, you wait for the host to ask you to be seated. Cutlery starts from the outside in. I learned that by watching Titanic. When you finish, you put them together into the side on the plate. That's how you know you're done. Yeah, that's like unfinished. The waiter can come and take your plate away. Take the soup away from you. So if this was a spoon in the bowl, you take it that way. Now, eating with your knife and fork, you hold them like that. Fingers on the top. Fingers on the top, the correct way around, not your shovel. <laughs> <laughs> be polite to everybody. Hold the door for everybody. Yeah, have to hold the door. And if you're with a female, you hold the door until she's gone through. And you walk with her on the outside of the road. So you get hit first. So you can move her out of the way. <laughs> but if I fire up two fingers in England... If you fire up two fingers the wrong way in the UK, yeah. that's offensive. Yeah. Which is crazy because that, like, peace. Yeah. Not peace. <laughs> no sunglasses inside. Or hats. Or hats. Should we be having tea or coffee? I think we all know there's only one answer to that. <laughs> but it's obviously tea. Do I need to add milk to my tea when I'm in England? Tea's already brewed. So you put milk in first. It's not out of a teapot and you're putting in water. You have to put the milk in after to allow the tea time to brew. If you put milk in a tea bag that's not brewed, it's going to clog up the bag and not brew your tea. Another fundamental difference, cream is for coffee, milk is for tea. I, I come from an experienced line of pot drinking tea brewers. <laughs> you said that, I said, that is a pot drinking tea brewer right there. <laughs> Okay, so now, there's some of the things they said, and I talked to Julia about this earlier, I wasn't down with, like, the fork. You, no, you have to have the I fork like this. You can't have that. the fork like <laughs> this. But I think we do need to incorporate the knife and fork across the plate, meaning I'm done with my food. We need to incorporate yeah. that in America, because it does away with the waitress saying, are you still working on yeah. that? Are you still yes. working on that? Five different times. Yeah, You're exactly. into the meal right and there. It's great. Here in, here in Windsor, we were eating, and I put my knife and fork like that. They were like a ninja. Boom! Hit my plate, <laughs> like, right away. Okay. It was perfect.